Okay, in this video we want to talk about um, disassembling a Dell Inspiron N40, N4010. Um, there will be all other models that I'll put in the uh, description. So if you find this video, then most likely this will work on your model. But for this video we're going to do the uh, Ennis and Nancy 4010, N4010. And you'll need to watch this video if you need to um, uh, replace the keyboard, if you need to replace the fan, if you need to replace the Wi-Fi card, um, if you need to replace the hard drive, and if, if you need to replace the speakers. Believe it or not, Dell in their infinite incredible wisdom decided that in order to change out a hard drive if it goes bad, or the speakers, speakers that's different, but hard drive and the Wi-Fi, you actually have to physically go into the computer and um, take off the palm rest and it, the hard the speakers are underneath the uh, actual logic board so you have to you have to actually take off the motherboard in order to uh, get to the speakers it's it's ridiculous but um, again that's that's Dell uh, this is an i3 processor so to start disassembling it you start from the bottom okay we'll take the battery out Okay, and I went ahead and, and disassembled it uh, a little bit in order to, to make the video go faster. Of course, you can pause it and stop it whenever you need to. All right, first thing you want to do is take out uh, these six screws. They're little, little tiny black screws. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and I went ahead and took all of them out except one. And as you can see there. Alright, and then you want to take out one, two, three, four of these silver screws. And again, I just left one in, so. Okay, next, you want to take out all the uh, regular long screws. Um, so, to do that, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and I left them, took them all out except this one here. All right, these are the long ones. You might want to mark them and keep track of which screws go where. All right, and um, you're going to have one screw that actually connects your DVD drive. So you pull that out. See the screw will go in there. All right. Next, you have to take off the memory uh, top. And of course, you could upgrade your memory here. Uh, fortunately, they have the um, the memory where you can actually go up to eight if you want to. So right now, this one's got a two gig and a two gig, but you could actually go four and a four or four and a two, or five and a one, whatever. There's one screw underneath the memory um, uh, top, and it's right here. You might have to remove this plastic uh, sticker here. They put that there in order, you know, when they first manufactured it and put them out. If you took this out, you'd, you'd avoid the warranty. But, of course, you don't have to worry about that now, and this laptop is older. All right, once you get all the screws out, the next thing you want to do is take the keyboard off. Alright, and to do that, you can get you a butter knife or you can get you a, um, a real thin flathead. And you start up to the top, and you have to actually pull it once you get underneath there. You have to pry it up. It might help to get like a credit card or something. Alright, and then you try to get traction with your fingernails and you pull it up. All right, you can see the ribbons attached there. So the only thing I do is just flip that up towards me, that little black little thing, and then pull it out. Okay, that's your keyboard. 
Now, next thing you want to do is uh, release your uh, your little ribbons here. This one goes to the mouse, so you push up towards that and pull that out. The ribbon out. This one goes to the fan. Pull it up. Pull it out. And then this other one here, you you can't really get a hold of it, but that way you can get out, get to it. Now, what you want to do is you can take you a little credit card or something, and uh, you can go around these edges here. What I'd recommend, since your DVD's out, is to actually use use the hole here in the base as leverage. So what you can do is you can pull from this end and this end. All right, and then what you're going to do is slide your your credit card or your um, screwdriver or butter knife in between there. All right. All right, so I got it. And from there, you just go around it. It's best not to pull it all at once. What you want to want to do is go around the edge and unsnap it one inch at a time. That way you're you're sure not to break anything. Oh, you want know I forgot? Clumsy me. There are a total of three screws here on your DVD. And I have one in there that I forgot to take out. And that's the golden rule. If you if you if you get any resistance, don't don't push it. Because you'll end up breaking something. So there's you'll do three screws for that's underneath your DVD or your DVD would be DVD player. It should not be that difficult to take the palm rest off. If it is, there's a screw somewhere. See there? How easy that popped out? And again, there we go. All right, and you can see there it just lifts off there. Make sure no ribbons are caught there. All right, so now we're at the motherboard, logic board, and as you can see there, that's your Wi-Fi. So if that's all you need to do, um, you can replace that. And that's your fan. Your speak, your two speakers are right here, and actually that's what I need to do on this computer. It started getting a real bad muffling sound, and actually the fan would would vibrate and make an echo. And you can see there, there's your hard drive. So you actually have to you actually have to get underneath this logic board to get to the hard drive as well. It's ridiculous. Alright, so now we're going to do some unscrewing here. Um, so this is the part that you're going to need to take out. Um, undo the ribbons. And then you're going to undo the VGA, the monitor, from the logic board. Okay. Next. You want to undo the um, the fan screw here. All right, you got two here. One, two on the on the front left corner. That's one. And then two. You wanna have two in the front. B seven and B four is how they're numbered. B7 
B3, B6, B2, next to B1, B5. Okay. And then you got the um, connection to the fan here that you need to undo. So that way you can see it right there. Okay. Get that off. Well, what you actually have to do, you actually have to like pull it. I think I got all the screws out. For your communication board here, you have this that's connected. How well you can see right here. I hate to be a, a complainer, but my goodness, why in the world they have to put it all the way down here? It's crazy. Okay, got that out. Now what it is is your um, well your Wi-Fi board is here. This is actually fastened to it. So you just pull up, as you can see. Shouldn't be that much resistance. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull to your right, using your right hand, away from the USB ports. As you can see here, there's going to be USB ports and the HDMI that's connection here. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull that out of that. And the fan is getting in the way. that up. It's dirty. So it's getting caught right there. And I forgot to do undo my speaker here. My right speaker. There we go. Wow. So that's it. And your hard drive unbelievably is right there if you can believe that why in the world they wouldn't make a, comp a compartment <laughs> in order to get the hard drive out I, I'm, I know I'm rambling it's just it's it's unbelievable to me so anyways I'm here to replace the two speakers and they made these things really cheap so you wouldn't be surprised if you're watching this because of the speakers per se. And of course that would go there. That would go there. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to take your time when you're doing it. Um, definitely take your time and if it's if it if you get too much resistance, stop and just think and look carefully, re-watch this video. Don't do like I did and forget like the screws underneath the DVD. Because um, you can really, you can break the base, break something very easy to do. 
All right, thanks for watching. In order to put it back together, just loop and redo, undo everything I just did. All right.